Hello, this is Vince from Sniper Day Trading, and this is for the market date of December 23rd. Uh, two days is, this is of the last of the full session days uh, during Christmas week. Just showing you some of the uh, key turning points here in my scalp uh, method setup. These, uh, this here is the night trading, and this is probably just after the bond market opened up here around 520 on the west coast the start of the day started here around 630 um, I didn't take any trades um, these uh, last few days here market uh, participation was very uh, slow very weak and did not want to um, just uh, be involved in it uh, plenty of time to trade after the first of the year Anyway, um, this is in scalp mode, and these trades are for generally two, three, or four ticks, uh, depending on if you are trading uh, with a trend or counter trend. And the methodology backs up uh, these trade entries. Uh, the sniper day trading methodology, you could say, backs up this, um, where the they tends to be rather clear, uh, not a whole lot of gray area uh, for these turning signals, but um, First trade here uh, goes moves up a four ticks from an entry here one two three four uh, three ticks you'd get filled four ticks possibly it's closing up here um, more than likely I think you'd get filled on that uh, with a point uh, here short for a plus a point and then uh, nothing really too clear um, until over here uh, trend appears to be down and so this is um, the majority of the move is going to be to the downside but in scalp mode um, at times too I leave my trade open in scalp mode and sometimes if I'm tentatively looking for a target of say a point if I'm trading with the trend and I think I can easily get it don't necessarily always have a target um, sometimes you get a quick collapse in price and then at that point you'll be able to take advantage of possibly a two point or two and a half point uh, closing the trade out down here um, you'd pick up something like a two, two and a half points right in there before it starts to reverse on you. But um, actually it does continue. It looks like there prob probably was some news that came out. So you need to be really careful trading around uh, news releases. But a lot of times it can work in your favor if you are set up in the direction of the move, um, as this was. But this was the right entry. Here, a counter trend trade for a uh, point. Three, four, yeah, two, three, or four. A lot of times it's two or three if I'm trading counter trend. That way, the likelihood of me hitting that um, turns up into the 80% plus range. Um, and if it looks like I'm losing the edge, uh, I quickly close the position out for maybe a break even, um, maybe even plus a tick or minus a tick, and so on. So here, 720 short not a great entry up in here just somewhat of a V bounce could have taken an entry in there but doesn't really fit uh, the profile for me uh, next trade in there you can see that around 815 you can see going short here if if so this trade you can see this is during the lunchtime look how long that is it's 45 minutes um, 45 minutes in here it's an awfully long time to uh, to wait for a few ticks uh, of a move so if in fact that was a short here um, you'd be out at either flat or minus a tick and this actually is a fairly good long right in there there's a couple of trades short the first one could be a little early the second one looks a whole lot better there's a couple of ticks of heat not much not very many ticks of heat um, on any of those trades here uh, towards the end of the day long and short those are actually all that those are the right spots there's pre-market into the next day it's only a few trades into uh, the shortened session on Thursday um, this is uh, bond market opens up in here uh, short long long again and then but only a couple more trades in there short here and then long here and that was pretty much the day and that's it so um, trading is going to be kind of light the next few days but um, it'll pick up after the first of the year Vince Sniper Day Trading